And we are live, Mr. Derek Wendell, live from Troy, Ohio, brother, with the first EXP office to ever open in Troy, man. How's it going, brother? Good, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it very much. Yeah, we've been wanting to do this for about a week, uh, about a week now, man. And I know you, uh, I know you're chomping at the bit to get the news out. And certainly, we are excited to be partnered with you up in uh, in the Troy area. This company is just exploding. Yeah. Uh, and the growth has been phenomenal, but, but, but talk really quickly about, you know, your, your experience in real estate. How did you get into real estate? Uh, give us a quick bio on yourself, brother. Okay. So, um, came from uh, restaurant management, um, started as a bartender, started as a server, worked my way up, eventually got to the point of where I just didn't like the job, didn't enjoy it. I like working with people. So I wanted to stay inside of customer service. Um, and I'd always wanted to do real estate, but it was something that I was afraid to take that jump and uh, basically live off commission. Yeah. Um, and so my wife and I, we lived in Indiana for a couple of years and we moved back and I said, I'm just going to go for it. And um, she's been behind me 100 percent and uh, um, we never look back. Dude, that's great, man. And you just hit the ground running, man. My my girl, Lacey Owens, told me she was competing with you on a deal, uh, I think yesterday. And she said that uh, you guys won the bid on it. So congratulations to you and your client. It's definitely a competitive market. Talk about, a little bit about um, why Troy? Troy. So I'm from Troy. Um, grew up here. Um, I love the town. Um and uh, basically, when I first started in real estate, I went everywhere and anywhere, and it did me no good. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I drove a lot of miles. Um, didn't really, I mean, you can't hit your sphere of influence if you're not, if you don't know anybody from there. Yeah. Um, and so for me, um, you know, I was, I got, I got my license two years ago. So buying into Zillow leads or realtor, it was impossible because those people hold those spots and they've just never given them up. Yeah. So I had to figure out a different way to compete in real estate. And so um, I when I moved to EXP, I moved to Troy first, my business and decided I was going to focus there last year in February. And then I was looking. I didn't dislike the company I was with. I just was looking for something more. Um, and I happened to be scrolling on Facebook. And uh, actually, somebody called me and asked me if I knew who you were. And I said, no, I've not heard of not heard of you before. And she said, well, you should check him out. Um, he just joined this company called EXP. And so um, I started doing some digging. And uh, EXP just happened to be perfect for what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, as far as, like, the commission splits, I came from a company that was very generous. So to me, I, I could never see myself at a 60-40 or, a, you know, a 50-50 kind of yeah. deal when um, basically we're going out and getting it on our own. Yeah. So a couple, um, couple thoughts here, brother. Just so you know, it was a blessing that you weren't able to get Zillow or Realtor.com. Yeah. Uh, that, that is crack for realtors, brother. And, yes. and their, their strategy was and, and remains uh, to be to get real estate agents to sign on and incrementally raise the price up. Um, people think they, 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 they don't realize that there's what's called a lead acquisition cost or a cost per lead that when that lead goes up, your commission split is steadily going down, 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 down until there's nothing left. Yeah. So kudos to you, brother, for going out and getting your own business. Um, that is a much more sustainable, much more profitable business model. Um, and, and, then, and secondarily, um, you know, you and I, we didn't unfortunately get, didn't get to connect through eXp until later on in life. But we are, we are truly still partners. Like I am here to help you and, and, and hopefully, you know, you are here to help us as well. That is what I love about eXp. Honestly, the most, the thing that I think is the coolest about eXp is the amount of collaboration. Where I came from, it wasn't. It was tight-lipped. Um, nobody said what they were doing. Um, like uh, you had a video, what, two weeks ago where you gave your top five lead, like lead sources. Yeah. And so um, I think a lot of people in eXp that join eXp are attracted to it, um, come from a mindset of you have to give to get. Yeah. And and I think uh, that's why we we all want it to be successful. We all share. There's enough pie to go around. I know that. So yep. uh, that's what I love about it um, is, you know, I got friends all over the country now. Yeah. And one thing you didn't see in my top five lead, lead resources was Zillow. No, you didn't, you didn't see no. Zillow on there uh, because we've made that mistake before. 
And, you know, and, and just to piggyback on that, man, is you never want to base your business on buyers, right? You, you know that, that, that listings are where it's at, man, because listings have babies. And so you, you're going about this the right way. I've been excited uh, to see your growth, man, and, and just see your confidence raise. And, and, um, and, and I'm excited about where you're going. Um, what do you think? Like, what is your ultimate goal in real estate, Derek? So my ultimate goal is to, um, I mean, build a, a business where, like, you know, like you said, listings have babies. So I want to provide good service and just my goal is to be, um, my goal is to be the next generation of realtor in Troy or Miami County because there's an age gap. There's a huge age gap here where, you know, after a certain, when a lot of these older, really heavy hitters retire, yeah. there's what is, what's, what's next. Right. And, um, and so, you know, and I think that also my generation and, and generation Z, they, they, they go about it differently. Um, and so, you know, there's a data war, which is what Zillow is, right? So um, that's why I have my own website and I, and I, you know, try to, I try to own that data so that people know in Troy, if they look for a realtor, then they're going to think of me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what's really cool is that, you know, we're down here um, in South Dayton and then we also have an office in Westchester and, and I know Mr. Gadosh has an office down here. Mr. Peebles has an office down here as well as we continue to grow. But um, I don't know of anything that we have up north. And I think uh, what's really cool is that, you know, you're kind of planting your flag up there. And I love it, man. And, and certainly we're going to get behind that. Um, I was I was actually talking to a friend of mine before I jumped on here with you, a guy, up, uh, a guy named Brandon Town uh, up in Canada. And we were doing a podcast. And, um, you know, one thing that really resonated with with me, with him, is that, you know, when you talk about uh, collaboration, is that you know we're we're taking that to a totally different level with with the amount of content we're putting out, um, you know, and when it comes to um, when it comes down to commission split, like you, I don't know if you listened to the podcast I did yesterday, but like I I calculated out my commission split for 2018, and my commission split was 108 percent. Yeah, that's incredible. And and people ask, well, how how is that even possible, right? And, and how is it even possible that the company I work for paid me to be there, right? And, and what I said was, you know, these 60, 40 companies that, that don't have a cap or they have a cap and it's $50,000, uh, but you continue to pay in a royalty, a 6% royalty. I'm not worried about those companies in the future because they can't deliver enough value to compete. They may be thriving now, but I promise you the real estate agents the very smart business minded real estate agents are going to catch on and they're going to realize they're not getting the value for what they're paying for. And, and what's great about that is we're going to hold firm because we have a place for those agents to come and help them grow their business. And we're going to pay them a lot of money to do that. And not only that at EXP, it never has to be about your next transaction, right? That's one of the big reasons I know that resonated with you is the fact that there's an opportunity for revenue share. It's huge, man. Yeah, It's huge. so big that I was paid 108% commission split to be here. And so there's no one that can compete with that. What are your thoughts on that? Um, that, that is huge for me because, um, you know, first of all, the opportunities that it gives you to, to I mean, you can all the, through revenue share, all of the overhead that I have could be paid for through revenue share. Yeah. And so that's huge. And uh, on top of that, you can offer that to other agents. And it's something that, that I haven't seen anywhere else. I mean, there's other places that have profit share, but that's different. Yeah. There's a huge difference. Um, and so I think the opportunity that it creates for me and, um, you know, other agents in this area that have never seen anything like this. It's incredible yeah. because you can, like you said, you get paid to work here. You can, if you do it right. Yep, absolutely. And, and the profit share check, that, that was a cool thing for me at Keller Williams. In fact, um, the, my, my profit share check from Keller Williams pay, almost paid my wife's car payment this month. It was 600 bucks, but my revenue share check paid my mortgage, my car payment and my boat payment. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> Yeah. And, and so like I want I want agents up there in Troy and, and down here in in, uh, in Dayton and even in Cincinnati to really resonate with that, because 
it doesn't have to be this way for the rest of your life. You don't have to continually, you're never only as good as your next deal if you if you join us here at eXp. Uh, and, and certainly I know people like Derek, um, you know, he. He, I've talked to you before and I know you're about getting the message out because what we ultimately want is we wanna deliver this message out on a platform like this so that we can change your life. Would you agree with that, Derek? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was talking to my wife about this. Um, if I had stayed where I was at, um, I, may have, I may have been out of business. Just that extra amount of income allowed me to keep pushing forward because, you know, it's tough when you get started. Um, you get beat up a lot and, um, you know, and you're, you're competing against, against a lot of other people. And so, you know, it's, it's incredible. Um, well, brother, I'm, I'm super excited. You're, you're, uh, you're, 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 you're opening or, or, or laying the, the, the groundwork for, you know, EXP up in Troy, Ohio. And, and I'm excited to be in business with you, man. Is there anything else you want to, uh, you want to say before we jump off here? Yeah. Uh, so one thing about the office. Um, so I know, I know a lot of maybe the drawback of EXP is that there is no physical office, even though maybe where you're at, you don't even go to the office, but just that, that comfort of there being an office. Well, there is one here in Troy now. Yeah. And, and I, the re I come to the office every day. And uh, despite the fact that we're a cloud brokerage, culture is built in the office. Culture is built um, when you get together and we can do that through the cloud and we can do that, but we can get together because I know people at your team, they come into the office and you guys do things together. And uh, because, you know, you want to build more of relationships, business relationships. And so that's why we collaborate like that. And so to those that are, you know, looking for an office, we have one now and anyone's welcome. You know, there is no cost to come work out of this office. There are no desk fees or any of that kind of stuff. Um, it's open to anybody that wants to come on over. The go giver, man. I love it, brother. So if um, if people want to come by your office there in Troy, give us the location. We're at 405 Public Square, Suite 350. All right. You heard it, man. And, and how can people connect with you, Derek, if they have questions about uh, the Troy office or they want to know more about EXP? Um, they can get a hold of me at 937-776-2022. All right, call bro. me, text me anytime. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, man, I'm so excited for you and what you're doing up there in Troy, Ohio. Um, I'm happy to be a, 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 in business with you and a partner with you. And if there's anything we can ever do down here, down south, man, uh, certainly let us know. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Have a good one. All right, brother. See you.